in this clip we'll uh, make a little demo with Tomcat and this demo we shall show how uh, HTTP, a host and a resource uh, work together this is something we spoke about in the previous tutorial Apache Tomcat is an HTTP web browser that and it can run on a, a window machine now Tomcat knows how to respond to HTTP request uh, since Tomcat uh, is HTTP compliant uh, and just out of curiosity in case you're wondering Tomcat was uh, designed and written uh, using uh, Java so if we look into Tomcat you can see we have our application called test and it is being hosted by uh, Tomcat and it is up and running so Tomcat can serve this application using HTTP let's go into program files, Apache software foundations Tomcat 7 is the one we're using at the moment and here see the test it's under this uh, this directory so whenever we uh, uh, type a URL in the address bar in the web browser Tomcat will map the URL to this directory and try to find our uh, our application let's go to the command shell here and do a DIR and as you noticed here and as you notice here the, the resource we are after is test.txt txt so first as we said there are three things we're going to do we're going to use HTTP a host and a resource so the, the resource in this case is test.txt and text.txt uh, is not HTML not hypertext it is a purely a uh, plain text file with txt and I'm using here uh, the DOS command uh, and as you can see hello here is appearing now um, now let's find the host and since we're using this machine so we're going to ping uh, we do a ping uh, on the local uh, on the local host to get the IP address it's, uh, and as you can see is able to respond to uh, to our ping and Tomcat is up and running listing on port 80 so let's head back to our browser since we know local host is working so we're going to type HTTP local host uh, you can put port 80 if you like but you don't have to but I'm going to do it I will I will test both of them and show you and test dot txt so we are asking Tomcat to send us this resource and here voila uh, we get back hello and if we drill into this uh, file and you can see there are no HTML tag it's it's a resource with a plain text and we've discussed this in the previous tutorial it doesn't have to be HTML a resource can be anything on the on the internet now uh, this same file as you can see here we can run it without the H without the 80 uh, the 80 the, the port number 80 since this is uh, uh, this is a default behavior uh, let me demonstrate something else now let's rename the test.txt to test.jsp and let's go let's head back to uh, Tomcat here and try to, to require the resource again and as you can see here uh, the HTTP work uh, we, we are able to communicate with Tomcat and Tos Tomcat is coming saying look I don't have this resource I can't find it the requested resource is not available you see here so Tomcat has uh, come back with this message which is plain HTML message uh, now let's head back to to DOS command again and this time I'm gonna I'm gonna use notepad uh, to edit uh, test.jsp and JSP is a, is a Java technology we're not going to do something really complex here something so I'm just going to use uh, the out uh, which send uh, uh, text uh, onto the stream onto the out stream so uh, that's a JSP and JSP is very similar to ASP uh, out dot uh, print line and here semicolon we close that Good. type hello save this close notepad here 
and type JSP and you can see JSP has come back with hello again if we drill into the the code there's nothing there it's purely plain text so JSP could have sent HTML tags uh, in the string but instead it decided to send only hello and then Tomcat built whatever uh, the string it received from uh, from the JSP and it was a only a simple hello and bundled it together and uh, as a resource and set us back the resource or whatever is in that resource so here this is a clear uh, a clear uh, demonstration of uh, uh, the local host being uh, our host in this case I could replace this with 127.0.0.1 and hit enter we still get the same result uh, so this is our host and we've spoken about that before this is uh, this is a directory the test is a directory on our uh, server and this is the resource we're requesting in this case this little application demonstrate the uh, resource and how HTTP uh, the host and the resource uh, communicate uh, this is only a little uh, demo it's I ha uh, we have not yet gone into any of the HTTP response uh, request uh, protocol uh, so uh, that's all for now and uh, please join me on the next uh, uh, tutorial